Hey guys, Mike here at Animation Tutorials and welcome back to a new video. All right, well, today we're not going to do a modeling video, we're going to do a dynamics video. And considering we're working in Maya 2016, a couple of things have changed, so it's a good opportunity to get into that. Okay, so what are we going to do today? We're going to create some rain and we're going to create that rain into a backdrop. So we're going to try to create a uh, somewhat realistic scene of a street uh, and you know, it's, it's raining. Okay, cool. So let's start out by creating a camera. So we're going to go to create camera and camera, which creates this guy. And we're going to plug a backdrop image into the camera. So uh, with that camera selected, hit control A to pull up your attribute editor. And if you scroll down here, you look for environment and under environment, you have the option to create an image plane. So we're going to select that. That allows us to select this folder right here. And I found this image online that I think is really cool. And that's this one right here. And that's what we're going to use. Now, I didn't create that image. It's been created by a, a very talented photographer. So I'll just uh, show you who he is. Hang on. And this is his website. He's from uh, Helsinki, Finland. And I'm probably going to mispronounce his name, but I'm going to give it a try anyway. Jikuranstodistaja. Uh, that's my best shot, uh, but check out his website. He has some really neat work here. All right, okay, back to Maya. Okay, so we have our image loaded. Now, if we go to our panel view, you can see that it's now visible based on this camera here, but we're not looking through the camera. So in this view, we're gonna go to panel, perspective, and camera one, and we are now looking at the full shot of the image. Now, what we're going to try to do here is have the rain actually hitting the street in the image. Okay. And in order for us to do that, we need to create a street surface. So we're going to create an image plane. And we're going to pull that out, not all the way through our image. We're going to hit W and we're going to move it kind of in front of the camera there. Hit R and scale it up a little. And we're going to hit E and we're going to kind of slope that backwards like so. Now for the tricky part, we're going to go to our panel view, which allows us to look at this one. Again, panels, perspective, camera one. And by manipulating the plane in this view, we're going to position it correctly in this view. Okay. So we're going to hit W and we're going to start to move that. And in our shot, you can see this curve here, right? Now, I kind of want this line on the right to follow the curve in that image. So based on rotation, if I hit E here, you can see that I'm either following that correctly or not. So that's kind of what we're going for. And we can maybe just hit R to scale it out a bit more and then hit W to move it to align it with our curve like so. Okay. Now that's all good. We're going to go back to our perspective view and we're going to hit control D to duplicate and we're going to pull this up and this is going to be the surface that's going to emit our rain. Okay. We're going to hit E to level it out a bit. In our attribute editor, we're going to set that to zero. So it's nice and flat. And then we are going to create some rain out of this surface. So make sure you go to your FX menu. That is the menu where nowadays in Maya 2016, you can find uh, dynamics and dynamics and so forth. Okay. We're going to go to end particles. We're going to go to emit from object. We're going to hit the option box here and we're going to go to edit and reset settings. So we know that we have a clean start. A couple of things are important here. Emitter type. Omni will create rain coming from the four corners of the plane. I don't want that. Okay. Directional will just make a streak of rain straight down. I want it to emit from the surface. Okay. We'll increase the rate. So the number of raindrops per second from 100 to 1000 and hit enter and everything else we're going to leave as is for now. I'm going to hit apply, create. Close that out and let's do 600 frames on our animation. We're going to give this a try. 
and as you can see it's raining like crazy but we're not quite there yet okay for a couple of reasons first of all our rain is going straight through our floor and second these are not really rain streaks but more dots if you will okay so we're kind of gonna select that there and we're gonna go to our I think it was end particle shape and we're gonna go down to shading and here you have the shape of our particle. Right now it's set the points. And I want this to be streaks, okay? So now if I hit play and we zoom in closely, you can see that they're no longer dots, but more kind of stretched out, you know, right. All right, cool. So what else do we want? We're gonna see if we can change some other settings here. And I'm just going through them to see if there's anything that we need to do. So just uh, bear with me. Okay, that's all right, that's fine. Gravity is all set up, okay. Good, good. Uh, let's see, just give me one sec guys. All right, guys, I found it. It was actually just in front of me. Um, on the end particle shape one tab, you can go to the lifespan. And we have a couple of options here. We have uh, live forever, but most realistically, I would say random range. Okay. And let's give that a go. Let's see what we have here. Now, because we don't really have uh, a floor plan working just now, and you can see that this lifespan is not really enough. So let's see, we'll do five, yeah. And we're gonna have to tweak that because we kind of want the uh, rain to end as it hits the floor. So we'll, we can tweak that in a minute, okay? So we have that. Now next, what's pretty important is we're going to take our ground plane and we're going to have that interact with our rain. So for that, we're going to go, uh, we're going to select our particles, we're going to shift select our plane, and we're going to go to end cloth and create passive collider. Hit the option box, go to edit reset settings. Now we have a solver, which is our nucleus one, and we're going to hit apply and make collide. Now, if this doesn't work the first time around, I, I think that's kind of a bug in Maya, but we'll give it a try anyway, and let's see what happens. And that's what I thought. It's just going straight through, weirdly enough. So let's try that again. And still, one more go. And I have been having that problem. And I'm not sh quite sure why. Well, believe it or not, guys, I found the problem. And uh, weird enough, the rain was, um, I set the lifespan to a point where the rain stopped exactly before hitting the plane. And I, change it to five and right now you can see that when i hit play you can see that they are now hitting the surface and they're moving okay perfect okay we're going to go back to frame one so with all of that set up we're almost ready to go uh, one more thing though if we go to this view and we go to panel perspective camera you see your image and you see this ugly plane in front of it and that's obviously not what we want, okay? So we're gonna select our plane and we're gonna go to the material that we applied to it, which is this Lambert right here. And we're gonna set the transparency all the way up. So our plane is completely invisible, okay? We're gonna switch to this view. We're gonna go to panels, perspective, camera one, and we'll just click outside of our plane to get rid of that green line. And let's hit play and see what we got. All 
All right. Well, there's our rain in our scene. You can uh, tweak it in a lot of ways. You can uh, increase the speed. You can add a wind feel to it. We'll just increase the number of frames here. So we'll just continue to rain for a sec. There we go. You can see that as the rain hits the floor, it kind of dissolves uh, at some point because of the uh, lifespan that we created and that involves some tweaking. But all in all, that is how you can create rain in Maya. So uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you did, please like and share. And thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.